Hey, hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually have a custom hotkey setup or custom key bindings uh, set up in Battle for Middle Earth 2, Rise of the Witch King, patch 2.02. .02. So, starting things off, the first thing you need is a program that's going to be called uh, Notepad. I'll have this uh, linked in the description below, so just check that out and click it. Click down there to get to this page. Uh, you want to download the latest version, whatever that is. Right now it's 7.9.5. Uh, just click here, download this up. Should only take like a minute or so. Not too long, nothing too crazy. It's pretty much just a better version of Notepad. And you will need this to edit the files for the game. Alright, so starting things off, what you want to do first is you want to go into your folder here, right? You're going to go into your C driver, wherever your game is installed. You're going to go into Program Files x86. And then you want to go ahead and find Electronic Arts, the folder. Now uh, click into that. And then you're going to go ahead and go for The Lord of the Rings, The Rise of the Witch King. Click into that. And then you're going to be finding the third folder. It's going to be called Lang, L-A-N-G. You want to go into that folder as well now. Alright, so you should be here, and once you're here, you want to scroll all the way down, and you want to find the highest version that you are running at the moment. Right now, the highest version for 2.02 .02 is 8.4.0, so you want to go ahead and find that file name down here, English Strings 2.02 uh, 8.4.0.big, and the first thing you want to do here is you want to make sure you want to make a copy of this file in case something goes wrong. So control C here and then a control V on your desktop. There we go. The file is now on your desktop. You'll have a backup ready just in case. So um, if you change something in this file and the game doesn't like it, it does. Um, you, you just won't be able to start your game anymore and I'll give you an error. And if you don't know what's causing that, just uh, drag this file back into this directory here and just override it and I'll just reset everything back to the way it was. So that's kind of like a fail safe here in case you do mess something up in here. Uh, keep that in mind here. Alright so at this point you want to click on this file here 8.4.0 right click on it and you should have an option called edit with notepad plus plus. It should show up here. Uh, if it doesn't you can go ahead and click open with whatever here and um, open with it even pops up here or choose another app if it's not showing up and you want to go ahead and click on this edit with notepad plus plus it should show up something like this mine's a little bit different because i have it edited i have it customized so it looks a bit different than yours will and i'm also scrolled down here i'm kind of like on the right, you can see the scroll bar. It's around like 30 to 35% down. We're on line number 15,014. So once when you open this file, you're going to be up at the top line 0 or 1 or whatever. But I just scrolled down so it's a little bit easier to see what's going on here. So the way that this game works, or the way that Rise of the Witch King uh, hotkeys works, uh, it works by using uh, the symbol... Uh, and on your keyboard, which is shift plus seven. So if you see here, men of the West units, I'm going to spam it a few times here. Like this key is what determines the hotkey, right? This at symbol. And um, the way it works is it's actually pretty easy, but it's a little bit weird at the same time. So you can see here that I've already had all my hotkeys changed up here or whatever is changed. I don't even know what the defaults are anymore because I've been using uh, customized ones already. And so you see here that it says like uh, C control bar construct Gondor archers horde and it's going to be Gondor and the, the symbol and is here archers. So what this means so whatever is in after this and symbol that's going to be the hotkey for Gondor archers. So in this case since A is after AND, it's going to be hotkey A for Gondor archers. And this works for pretty much everything in the game. You can change buildings, units, abilities for heroes, your fort, 
upgrades, your Fort Hero hotkey. Uh, pretty much everything works in this file, but you gotta find it. That's the hard part. I mean, this file is humongous. Look at this. This is only like 30% of the way down. We're on line 15,000. So, I mean, you just gotta find it. A uh, good way to do this is you click Control plus F on your keyboard. That uh, brings up this little thing here. And you kind of can search for whatever you want to find here. So, I mean, if you know that Gondor archers are hot key A, right? So, if you want to find them, I mean, Gondor archers only has, what, one A in it, right? So, it would just be Gondor and A archers, just like that. And you can click find and it'll just find this right away. And... Other ways you could do this, you could just, I mean, you could just have to look around. Men of the West units, for instance, search up some like keywords that make sense. Uh, you can also see like control bar, construct, Gondor archer, horde. Everything has like a horde, like a Gondor fighter horde. It's a bit confusing, but you can also just click and put in like and in the symbol with control or shift plus seven. And then you'll find all the hotkeys that are with AND. I'll just cycle through all of them. You see it moving on the left. And just cycling all of the, the AND symbols in the document. And that way you can just change it on the go. Alright, so... If you want to change hotkeys, for instance... Say Gondor Archers. Say you want... Say you want Gondor Archers to be on C. All you have to do is just erase this at or and symbol in front of the A. And then you want to you want the hockey to be C. So it's going to be you're going to just put the and symbol right here. So it's going to be the C is going to be right after the and symbol. Now, Gondor Archers, if you save it, make sure you save. That's very important. After you make a change, save up here in the top left. It's going to be saying save on this little floppy disk icon. Boom, save. And now, once you load back into the game, Gondor Archers will be uh, produced with the hotkey C instead of A. And um, if you want to undo a change here, you can always click Control plus Z on your keyboard. Boom, boom. And then back to the way it was. Make sure to save again. And now Gondor Archers are going to be used with hotkey A. Now, another way you can change hockeys if your letter is not here, for instance, say Gondor Archer, say you wanted it to be on, like, I don't know, the hockey T, right? Um, you can always just change uh, just anything, any letter here, because um, scrolling down here, you see um, Construct Gondor Night Horde, right? So the way this one is set up for me is that Gondor Knights are produced with the hotkey W, right? See there? W. Well, knights. Well, knight. <laughs> uh, usually it's K like this, right? Usually it's Gondor uh, knights with the and symbol here. So usually they're made with the hotkey K. But in this case, you can always just change any of these letters. Say this K, I want to change it to W. Now they're going to be used or uh, made with the hotkey W. However, when you're in game and you hover over the Gondor Knight uh, symbol, it's gonna say Gondor Knights. It's gonna say this, which I mean, it's not really a big deal. But if that triggers you, uh, just use like the letters that are already available to you in these little things like C here, um, R, S. You can always just change it that way. Um, another thing to consider. Uh, you can't really get too creative here, say, if you're, like, super clever, you're like, Oh, why can't I just do this? Like, erase this and symbol, uh, go back here to the end, and then space, like, parentheses, uh, and, and then put A, and then boom. Now it looks much better, it's gonna be Gondor Archers, and it's gonna show up like this in the game. However, the game does not like this at all. Sometimes this works, sometimes, or most of the time it doesn't. Um, you can see here, like, let's save this, right? Boom. Let's start the game. Boom. 
It does not like that at all when you do this. You can't get too clever with this. You're going to get an error. Your game's not going to start. So you can always just change that back by doing Control z Boom. Boom. Now it's back to normal. Save. And now your game should start because it, it likes it when it's in here. And this, um, and this kind of um, structure. You can't really get too creative, but you can always just change like the letters like I did with Gondor Knights. See, the, uh, change it to W instead of K. And it works. The Gondor Knights are produced with W instead of K now. Um, now, I know it's pretty annoying. Once you start this for the first time, it's going to be super annoying because there's so much text here. Uh, you're going to have to just find what you're looking for. Um, a good way to do that is if, say, go to, like, I don't know, you're saying you're playing Men of the West. You go to your barracks, whatever. You see, like, they have Gondor soldiers, tower guards. A good way to do this is, like, oh, um, you, you find the units here. Like, Gondor warriors, tower guards. Uh, all the stuff that's made from the barracks. You should probably just uh, change those first like change the soldiers to whatever hotkey you want then save it then make sure you run your game to make sure it accepts the hotkey because sometimes if you change it this way some hotkeys are not accepted and your game will also get an error so you got to be careful not to just keep setting random hotkeys and then at the very end just save it all and then hope your game works because i mean if you do it that way, it's going to be hard to tell what's happening at that point. And also, um, keep in mind some hotkeys do not work for this. For instance, I have this little thing here that I had from my uh, CD, my disc, uh, whatever. Um, a few hotkeys that won't work for this. Say you're trying to uh, make a building with a hotkey. Uh, e is not going to work because it's already a hotkey. Um, it already selects all on-screen units of a type. Also, Q will not work. And a few others will not either. I don't think O will because it selects all heroes. You'd probably want to use O either. Anyways, H won't work. Because if you bind a building to H and you click H, it's going to just jump to your fort. And it's not going to work. Also, B. Be careful not to use B for a building. You can use it for, like, other things, I believe. But for buildings... If you um, hotkey a building with B, it's just going to select your nearest builder all the time. It's not going to work. Uh, D, F, G should all work. That's just for units. And the Z planning mode will not work either, probably. And just keep that in mind. Some hotkeys will not work with this. You, the ones that are already in grain, you can always change these, I believe. Um, also, through this method, but... To keep it simple, just don't use like Q, E, O, H, B for like buildings, for instance. You can always just test it with units. Some of these work with units. And, I mean, that's gonna be pretty much it. Let's see, what else can I say about this? You just gotta really find all the stuff you're looking for. It takes quite a long time. I mean, there's just infinite text here. So you'll take you like your whole life to read all of this all at once it's so much you just gotta use control f on your keyboard a uh, filter by the and symbol or whatever in like gondor archer horde like gondor archers if you know the hotkey is a it's gonna be the gondor and a archers and you can just search for that and then change the hotkey that way uh, always make sure that once you change something, you always save the document and then you run the game. Uh, if you have your game open and you're trying to change this at the same time, that's not going to work. You have to have your game closed. And then once you save saved something here, open it up and then it should change uh, in the game now. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, am I forgetting anything? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. Just a matter of just finding everything you want. Make it, make sure you're not using the hotkeys that don't work. And yeah, I mean, I 
pretty much I think I explained how most of this works. You can just see how all of mine are set up here. Like Gondor archers are built with A. My Athelian rangers are built with the R key. Uh, Gondor warriors. I believe these are and originally called Gondor soldiers. Maybe I'm not sure. But it's W for those. Tower guards are with the hotkey T. Uh, Gondor knights are with the W of course. Trebuchet with C. And just the list goes on and on and on. It's all about just finding them. And changing them from here. So if this was uh, helpful for you guys. Uh, please consider leaving a like and subbing. It definitely helps a lot. And on that bombshell. I hope you guys uh, figure out how to change these. And I mean good luck. Have fun with the hotkeys. And I'll see everyone uh, next time with another one. Until then, take care guys and I'll see you later.